Are you afraid to draw human sketches and your landscapes feel lifeless? If your answer is yes, then probably you've come to the right place. Hi, I'm Kamya and in this tutorial today, we are going to learn a very simple technique to paint human sketches for landscapes. We'll be using watercolors for this. So let's get started with the tutorial. Starting with the art supplies we need for this tutorial, we will be using the Thuvi's half pen set of 12 colors. I'm using the Breeze palette here. This Thuvi Breeze palette has almost all the colors that I uh, need basically for all of my all types of watercolor like landscape, portraits, etc. These half pens are highly pigmented and come in a compact set. It has two side trays as well which you can use as palette and mix makes it perfect for a traveling kit. Next to the brushes, I am using a size 8 flat brush and two round brushes of size 8 and size 12 here. I will be using a 300 GSM watercolor paper here and this is a 100% cotton uh, cold press paper. Uh, for this uh, painting you can use any paper, handmade paper or any paper that is 270 GSM or more. Painting a human figure, I start with the body first. I just uh, briefly lay down the uh, shape of the body here with a round brush and then I use a smaller round brush to just mark the head of the uh, body. Again for the legs, I don't uh, give, go in detail and just uh, put a placeholder there for the two legs and I don't go into the details. Uh, let's do it another one more time. Uh, here again, I'm making a body first with a, a round brush, bigger round brush, and then I will be switching to the smaller brush for the head, just to place a ball there. Don't go into the details. And then for the legs again, I just you know just loosely put the two legs there, not worrying about too much details here. And then I just uh, place some shadows here for the uh, two figures here. Uh, now in case you want to make the figures that are facing towards you, uh, here again we'll follow the same process. We'll start with the body first, uh, we'll just loosely paint the uh, torso of the person. And then instead of the black uh, head, we'll paint with a little warm color, probably a burnt sienna or a little orange shade. So as to make the face, so this in case the person is facing towards uh, the viewer. And then the same way we will just paint the lower half of the person with uh, uh, legs. Uh, notice here I'm adding some details here like probably the person is wearing a jacket or a CV something like that just to give some variation in the figures and then a uh, little shadow here to complete the look. Uh, so this is how we paint basically very loosely just uh, human images uh, and now when we've learned how to make it we'll incorporate this into a uh, landscape painting. So let's start with the landscape painting. Uh, I'll just uh, cover the entire paper with a little water so that I can loosely paint the background first before coming to the humans. Uh, I start with the blue color for the sky, very light blue. Now the, uh, the background which we have to keep, we have to keep it very loose because you want to uh, focus on the human figure so the background will be very very loose and very light uh, color so we'll be using more of a wet on wet technique so here I think I'm done with the sky and now I'm just painting the uh, sides probably there's some uh, building here uh, so I'm notice I'm using a flat brush to uh, make the uh, marks for the building and uh, just this is totally a wet on wet technique so the paper is entirely wet and just i'm uh, marking the strokes and uh, it gives just an impression that there is you know some landmark building here or something like that some uh, some story here and uh, the colors will be very uh, light so that uh, it also it gets further light once it dries up and uh, I'm making it a one point perspective so everything will be going inside from the viewer and again on the other side I'll do the same thing uh, 
I'll be just making some uh, patterns just to give an impression that there's something here, like right? you know, probably some building or uh, something that you know, that, that there's a road and there's something there. And then we can put some shadows for the building so that to give an effect, natural effect. And notice how it's very light, and you know, you you can just make out. It's not like uh, I'm not making it very detailed, just giving an, a, a very little hint. But you can make out, you know, that there's a road and uh, there are two structures on either side of the road, and there's shadow falling on the road. So uh, we just need that a little impression here. Once our background is completely dry, we'll start with the human figures. Uh, this process will be same like we learned earlier. So here I'm making the uh, body of the first person, which will be in the center. So uh, 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 this will be the biggest figure. And as we go backwards, uh, the figures will get smaller and less detailed. Okay. So this is the first figure that, that will be forefront and uh, I'm making it facing towards the viewer so uh, the head will be a little warmer color and then I'm adding some uh, details to it probably it's wearing probably some jacket or something like that okay I'll just make the feet here okay here we go so uh, it looks complete now let's add another image uh, sorry another figure just right next to it so probably gives an impression that two people are walking um, side by side and probably they're talking or something like that so again i've made the body and then the head uh, now let the head part just you know blend into the body part because so we want to we want to give an impression we don't want to go into details here so here is again the legs you know very 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 light and then with this figure i want to make it going away and i want to give an impression that it is a little behind these two figures so it will be a little smaller in size um and it will be a little uh, away from it. now notice the heads of all the figures will be above the horizon the horizon line which you can see in the background all the heads at least the uh, the upper half of the body will be above the horizon line okay now this figure I'm making, it's very. I'm giving an impression that it's very very far away, so I'm just making it with a single color, and you can use a, 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 a toned gray or something very brown, something like that. And as we go further, the the figures will get smaller and very less detailed. So now you can clearly make out that the two figures in the front they they seem to be right right in the front of the viewer and the those with monotone and the smaller ones they seem to be a little far away so that's how you create a, a perspective the things that are closer to you are bigger and a little detailed whereas the things that are farther from you they are smaller and uh, you know less detailed so here i'm making another figure and let's add some different details because the person is probably carrying a bag or something so i'll just add some different day because every person is uh, the way of walking and their, their way of dressing is different so let's add some uh, uh, to just to add some variations we'll just make the difference uh, now here on the left side let's add some two people with some different posture let's say probably they are sitting and probably facing each other and having a chit chat now here with these two blobs you can't make out anything uh, like what I am exactly trying to do, I am just making the lower part of the body, uh, and there are probably some chairs and uh, some 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 things in the background here. And uh, it comes, it makes sense when I you know add little two heads on the top of it. So now it makes uh, gives an impression that the two people are sitting here and having a discussion or something like that. So let's make a small uh, gazebo type of thing so that they're sitting under and having a relaxing conversation, probably some coffee or something like that. Make some story. Okay, and uh, let's add some more details to the background. Probably I'll add some tree here. Let's add a tree here. The outside. I think by loose, you don't have to uh, work on the details here because. Our main focus is on uh, these figures uh, which we have already done so we just like to cover up the area and all that I'm just drawing a very tree very loosely now notice when you draw loosely now notice from where I'm holding the brush I'm holding it right from the 
back side of my uh, 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 brush so that that uh, makes the things you know come out very easy if you hold the brush uh, right from the uh, uh, front edge where the uh, bristles are there uh, you get you not get that loose effect which you want so if you want to get the, that loose effect just hold the brush from the back of your of the uh, brush and this just let me add some shadow here now, now since the shadows are uh, coming uh, falling towards the left side so we we have assumed here that the source of light is on the right hand side so again uh, going by the same law uh, the shadow of the tree will fall on the left side okay we have to take care of the thing the source of light where the source of light is and again for the for the human figures all the the shadows for all the of these will be on the left hand side so i'm just making very wait no very little just giving an impression that you know there's a shadow falling in here just very 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 light all right so we are almost done let's add some details on the buildings uh just you know make some part of the building darker to, darker to give a little three-dimensional effect let's add some windows here again very very loose keep it try to keep it loose because we want the focus on the figures and not the sides More details on the front building. Mm. So I think here, I mean, we are done with almost uh, uh, this painting, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this. And I tried to explain this with a very simple uh, way, a very simple technique, and I hope you enjoyed it. So basically, we, the main focus is we just have to give an impression that you know these there are human figures going on here, and we don't have to uh, go into the details. So just keep try to keep as minimal as possible, and that will naturally give a very uh, uh, great effect, a very good impression on the viewer. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I would love you to try it for yourself. See you sometime later. Thank you for watching.